Okay, here we are. Uh, I've got the intake side uh, tape. I didn't have to use the uh, plastic structure. I was able to go directly to the new fan. I've got my airflow uh, indicator in the right direction. So uh, I'm at the point now where I'm ready to actually do testing. Uh, testing, if you've ever done anything like this, is very important. Uh, sometimes we take it for granted and we think that we did such a great job and we just build everything because we're totally awesome and we got it right the first time and then we turn it all on when we really need it to work and something goes wrong. Uh, then you get really frustrated, you're mad at yourself and uh, you got to deal with it. So uh, I've done that, <laughs> speaking from experience. Uh, even as an engineer, you think you're perfect, you think your calculations are right, you think you did everything right by the book, and uh, you build it and it all falls apart. So, we're going to do a test. I've got it all plugged in. What could go wrong? Who knows? Here we go. Okay, so now the test is going. Oh my goodness, you can feel the air going through there. Here, check this out. Whoa, you can probably hear that air. Oh, that's so pretty. You don't know how important that is to me right now. That's huge, having that amount of suction going through there. So our next piece, you can see where we have the excess here. That was on purpose. Uh, this excess pipe, we're going to cut it so there's two intakes, one from lane three, one from lane two. Bring them together into uh, the joint, my 699 joint from Amazon, and then go into single pipe. So now we got some cutting to do there. Okay, I got the first bin cut. This is going to be the joint, the combiner unit. So the idea is, sit like that have hose coming in from this side, coming in from this side, nice and straight, and then coming out on this side into the single unit. So now my next thought is I want, I want this hose, I want the inlets or outlets uh, from the lanes to be as far towards the front as I possibly can. I don't only sell this hosing in certain sections, I only bought two. Um, it is kind of expensive, I think they're 70 bucks a piece. So at first I get to cut it, which kind of makes you pucker a little bit. Um, but I also have to make sure I cut it at the right distance. Uh, so now I'm going to go through, do some measurements, and then start cutting. Okay, I made my cuts. Uh, now what I need to do is connect this line into here. When I cut this, I used a jigsaw. Uh, the middle blade, the nice fine blade worked, but then I broke that blade because the box is uneven and the blade that I had wasn't long enough. Um, no excuse for not having the right tools, but that's what I did. Uh, so anyway, it's kind of jagged. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed this up through here, 
uh, like this. And I'm going to use the fancy, highly usable Martian duct tape. And we're going to connect all this here. This is a prototype system, so I'm not too worried about making everything perfect right now. Sometimes you, you can spend too much time trying to be perfect and never get it done. That's just as bad as being wrong. Sometimes even worse, because sometimes people just like to see you try. There we go. I got the first one done. Now I need to get these all put on. Take a break from filming, get that done. And I gotta get the stuff that got sucked in there off the intake. Then I'm gonna go cut the uh, bins that go over here. And then after that, one more cut on the uh, inlet to the stove and we're done.